What's going on guys? I am Optimus Philip, and just over a week ago, Nintendo unveiled their newest addition to the 3DS family, the new Nintendo 2DS XL. And so far it seems that a lot of people aren't fans of the system. Granted, it looks like the system also has its fair share of defenders, but I would still like to chime in my own thoughts. Now before I begin, I would also like to give my thoughts on the original 2DS. Now, bear in mind that I have never actually used one of these before, so I'm probably not being entirely fair on it. And of course, this is an opinion piece. If your opinion is different to mine, that's okay. The world is wide enough for both you and me. I'll be frank, I am not a fan of the original 2DS. It just came off as so big and clunky compared to how compact the actual 3DS is. Also, Despite lacking the 3D functionality, it still has a 3D camera, like, what? And it has mono audio. Like, whose idea was it to make it mono audio? Was it cheaper? Was it to add to the 2D feel? I don't know, it just feels dumb to me. And seriously, why doesn't it fold? Was the hinge wearing out that big a deal? I mean, I mean if the hinge wears out, it's not a huge deal as long as you hold the system right side up. I mean... I'm sure it's a fine system, but I just think there were a lot of dumb decisions that went into it. Now, I like the idea of the 2DS, a 3DS without the 3D made for people who can't afford a 3DS and just don't care about the 3D, but this just didn't seem like the right way to do it. But you know what does seem like the right way to do it? The new Nintendo 2DS XL. Now, I'm going to be frank, I was expecting them to make a new 2DS at some point, but really, all I was expecting from that was just a 2DS with a C-Stick and the Z-Buttons. I was not expecting this. This is exactly what I thought the original 2DS should have been. A cheaper version of the 3DS without the 3D. It folds, it has stereo audio, and it even has the extra large screen. Sure, it's more expensive than the original 2DS, but it's still cheaper than the regular version of the new 3DS, and I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo does release a regular sized version of this down the line. Even then, I still think that it is definitely worth the additional cost. As someone who has never owned a 3DS and has always been on a bit of a budget, honestly, I'm surprised I managed to get my hands on a Switch, I do plan on getting a hold of this system once I get the money. I mean, yeah, I could save up, beyond that and get an actual 3DS if I wanted to, but so far this seems like it would satisfy me well enough. If you already have a 3DS, then this obviously is not for you. But for those of us who don't, again, this is a nice, cheap alternative. But what do you guys think? Is this cool crap somewhere in between? Let me know in the comments what you think of the system and this video. Leave a like if you like this video, dislike if you don't, and if you like nerdy content like this, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and remember, there is no cure for loving Nintendo.